Logitech offer a full system solution for the preparation of semiconductor wafers to high specification surface finishes prepared with precise geometric accuracy. From measuring the initial thickness of the sample, safely bonding fragile wafers to a substrate for processing, lapping, polishing measurement of final sample, and safely debonding the sample from the substrate. For the first step of the process, it is required to measure the initial sample thickness. This is done using one of Logitech's contact gauges. The Logitech CG10 contact gauge is an instrument for linear dimensional measurement applications, offering a high degree of accuracy over a wide measuring range with low gauging forces, giving an accuracy of 1 micrometer over its 10 millimeter measuring range. If you are processing fragile, soft or highly polished materials, the Logitech NCG2 non-contact gauge can be utilised. This highly sensitive instrument has been developed to facilitate the precise dimensional measurement of ultra-thin semiconductor wafers, soft organic crystals, high-quality optical components or simply just extremely soft or fragile wafers. Logitech gauges transmit data directly to your PC ready for external analysis. Once the initial sample thickness of the wafer has been safely measured, it is then important that the sample be bonded to a carrier disc or glass substrate, especially if the sample is a fragile material such as silicon or gallium arsenide. This allows the sample to be safely retained throughout the lapping and polishing processes with a reduced risk of breakage or damage. The Logitech Wafer Substrate Bonding Units have been designed specifically for the bonding of fragile semiconductor wafers. These units are designed to minimise breakage with these expensive materials whilst retaining the highest quality of sample yield. The WSBUs are available as single or triple station units with a wafer capacity of either 100mm, 150mm or up to 300mm on our WSB300 standalone bonding system. All process conditions are controlled via the graphical user interface, allowing users to set the bonding temperature and vacuum required for the specific sample. Once the bonding temperature has been set and reached, the mounting adhesive can then be applied to the glass substrate. Here, we are utilizing quartz wax or Logitech thermal release tape. The wafer is then placed on the glass substrate. The bonding chamber is then sealed to allow the pressure bonding process to begin. The bonding process from heating, pressure bonding and cooling can be automatically completed in approximately 45 minutes, providing constant results with a high standard of wafer to support carrier parallelism. Prior to wafer processing, it is good practice to measure the sample thickness of the bonded specimen using the route shown in step one. The bonded substrate is then mounted onto a Logitech precision jig for processing. Logitech PP series precision jigs have easy to read digital dial gauges with the option for Bluetooth, allowing for seamless integration of the jigs and our range of precision lapping and polishing systems. Utilising the Bluetooth micrometer gauge, a preset removal amount can be set in the system and the plate drive will automatically switch off when the target amount has been achieved. This allows the operator to leave the process running safely unattended without the worry for over-processing or sample damage. The lapping process is undertaken for the bulk material removal. This is typically done over two lapping stages. For this stage, the Logitech precision lapping and polishing system used is dependent on sample size and throughput requirements for the customer's specific requirements. The PM6 precision lapping and polishing system is a single station benchtop machine with a wafer process capacity of up to 100 millimeters whereas the LP70 multi-station precision lapping and polishing system comes with four workstations as standard, allowing for the process of multiple samples simultaneously. 
the LP70 can also accommodate multiple wafer sizes of up to 150 millimeters. The Acrobus Air Intelligent Sample Preparation System is a standalone system with a wafer process capacity of up to 150 millimeters. The Acrobus Air utilizes Logitech's intelligent air-driven jig technology, offering a dynamic jig load control to meet the needs of the application ranging from 0.5 kilograms to 12 kilograms for AJ100 and 0.5 kilograms to 21.6 kilograms for the AJ150, making the Acrobus Air an ideal solution for harder to process semiconductor materials. All three systems have intelligent features and operator controls that allow for semi-automated processes and the achievement of stringent sample specifications. The sample held onto a Logitech precision jig via vacuum is then mounted on the lapping plate for processing. The material of the lapping plate will depend on the material being processed. Here, we are utilizing a cast iron lapping plate which is well suited to semiconductor materials with a Mohs hardness of 5 or above. Anything below 5, typically a glass lapping plate will be utilized. A Logitech abrasive solution is used alongside plate speeds of up to 100 RPM for increased material removal rates. All process conditions are controlled via the GUI. The user can easily control the amount of abrasive delivered to the plate via the metered abrasive feed unit. Driven jig roller arms can also be controlled, giving the operator full control over the process. Additional features such as recipe mode and automatic plate flatness control allow for semi-automated, easily repeatable processes. At this stage, it is important to measure the lap sample to gauge the flatness, surface roughness, thickness and parallelism of the specimen. For measuring the flatness of the sample, the Logitech GI20 flatness measurement tool is used. The GI20 grazing incidence interferometer provides high provision flatness measurement suitable for use with lapped and semi-polished surfaces of up to 150 millimeters. Unlike conventional FISO interferometers, the GI20 can be used for measuring non-reflective surfaces, making it ideal for carrying out checks on lapped and or ground surfaces prior to final polishing. The sample can be set inside a precision levelling ring with micrometer heads when utilising a PP jig to allow adjustment to the angle. The sample is mounted onto the GI20 and the interferogram can be displayed either on the touchscreen interface on the system or a monitor via the HDMI port on the unit. The touchscreen interface allows rapid and accurate measurements to be saved in process with fringe spacing displayed at a fixed 2 micrometer interval, producing excellent contrast levels with surface finishes from polished samples up to 200 to 250 Ra. The polishing process is undertaken to remove any subsurface damage that may have occurred in the lapping process and for the attainment of super flat, mirror like surfaces. This is often seen as the most important stage as this prepares the wafer face for device fabrication. Typically, this stage results in minimal material removal. As the Logitech PM6, LP70, and Acrobus are dual lappers and polishers, the full process can be carried out on the one system. Preparing the machine for the polishing process simply involves exchanging the lapping plate for a polishing plate with a polishing pad. These systems' intelligent features are designed to cut processing time and provide industry standard results for both processes. A Logitech polishing pad is utilised in this process with a Logitech polishing slurry. The pad and slurry selected are dependent on the material being processed. Logitech offer a wide range of pads and polishing solutions to cater for most semiconductor materials. The volume of slurry delivered to the pad can be easily controlled via the GUI, reducing wastage for improved cost reductions. On completion of the polishing process, the sample can be cleaned in situ using the integrated deionized water and nitrogen compressed dry air mixer spray gun. The final sample is then measured for the last time, again using a Logitech contact or non-contact gauge and the GI20 flatness measurement tool.
The final stage of the process is to safely remove the sample from the glass substrate. We set up solvent baths on a hot plate and submerge the bonded wafer into the solution where the wafer simply comes away from the glass substrate. Logitech EcoClear non-solvent cleaning fluid is used, the ideal solution for demounting ultra-thin semiconductor wafers bonded to a glass substrate using Logitech wax. The sample is then subsequently cleaned with deionized water. For removing samples bonded using thermal release tape, the substrate is left on a hot plate at the required release temperature, and after a few minutes the sample releases from the substrate, leaving the sample defect-free and the tape still attached to the substrate.